Hello, this is Take and Fusion. Welcome back to another read through on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the IDW run. And yeah, so today, uh, this is going to be the complete uh, run of the first four issues, which is also called Volume 1, uh, called Change is Constant. So yeah, I do hope you enjoy this um, little movie, I sort of say, about the origins of this run. So yeah, let's get into this one. Let's go! And before we get started, if you do like this content and want to see more from this channel, please do make sure to subscribe and like and turn on post notifications. Now let's go on with the video. And so it begins. This is how it's going to be, Splinter. Dark Cloud Scabber. You're going to hide like a cow behind those, those freaks. The guys rumble threateningly. Who's he calling a freak? Has he seen himself? Yo, pot meat kettle. Silence, Michelangelo. Followed by an unnatural calm. Old Hub, this need not happen. We are not here to fight. We only want this neighborhood left in peace. Yeah. And then, the calm vanishes. Well, you can well, you can keep on wanting, rap. And lightning strikes. Waste them all. My sons, the storm has broken. None must die. It is wrath unleashed. Ugh. I was trying to uh, tell them that. And each of us must face a torrent of rage. Don't worry about them, Donny. Just worry about um, the way Mossman's have trained us. What? In his own way. Train this. Ugh. Our individual techniques are, are unique as each uh, new crash of thunder. Get in there. I want that stinking rat and those slimy reptiles dead. Both stuff, cr um, cowardly analytic de and deliber uh, deliberately. Bowtie, military discipline and uh, priests. Hiya! Sorry. A truly un unorthodox and ca uh, carefree. Ugh. No baby gangster for you, dude. Idiots. Guess if I want something done right. Wrenched and misguided and vengeful. I gotta do it myself. And with a ba uh, and with a bit of sweet experience of centuries. And I'm gonna tear you apart. I had defeated our pub before. Grr. Then, as now, the battle was fierce. But what was once a solely a fight for survival has become very personal. Keep pressing, guys. You think they got the message? Yep. It will still be ringing loud and clear in the morning in, in, in their ears tomorrow. Then we can then we can only hope uh, uh, that they need uh, that they heed the sound. We are dead. No, old hub. Not today. Eventually, the tempest subsides. You, I'll get you yet, rat. You'll see. Just like the other stinking freak, you're all gonna disappear and be forgotten forever. Come on, guys, let's. No, we are done here, my sons. We must go. End in uncertain silence. And what began with a ferocious roar? Raphael, we have not forgotten. It is simply the next calm before the next storm. Eighteen months earlier. Oh my gosh, those tolls are so cute. What are these little guys here for, Miss Allen? Uh, just check, please. Uh, please. I'm sorry, Chet. Uh, thanks. The tolls are part of a special study we've been working on for a little while now. Something to do with um genetics regenerations, but I'm not really directly involved with it. Hmm, interesting. Y yeah, I do uh, get to feed them sometimes. Maybe you can um, help me next time. That'd be cool. I guess um, there's more to this place than just a bioengineering livestock to feed starving third world countries, huh? Maybe it's um, to make lots of turtle soup. <laughs> Ooh, um, we want to eat those little guys. They're so do Whoa! Is that a rat? Oh, don't worry about him. He's part of another um, special project. He's always running around for place. Free? Yeah, we we have a hard time keeping him contained, but like I said, he's harmless. If you say so, just please don't tell me he's part of some rat soup program or I'm gonna hurl heh, <laughs> rat soup. Come on, we sh um, should get to uh, should get you a human pro a resource. They should um have you a new intern badge ready up to pick up, and then I guess I'll be official, huh, Chet? Yeah. W welcome uh, to Stock Gen Research, Miss O'Neill. Dust April is fine, Chet. Thanks. Dr. Stockman? Yes, Margaret? 
Sir General Krang is calling from Brunner Island. He's on line one. Ugh. Thank you, Margaret. General Krang, how are you this fine day? How goes the war? Frankly, Stockman, the war and I will both be a lot better when I know things are advancing more rapidly on your end. And your past due is getting me the latest stripe on the test I ordered, and I'm tired of waiting. I understand your concerns, General, but I assure you that, despite the minor delay in our report, everything is well under control. My technicians tell me we have made significant progress in both the uh, Terrapan uh, terra human exo armor synthesis and rodent, uh, rodent uh, psychotic uh, serum tests. Spare me the academic uh, drivel, Stockman. I want you to tell me how much blasted longer I'm going to wait to get what I'm paying you all this for and this money for. General Krang, I promise you. We will have everything you've acqu uh, acquired from us uh, completed in short order, including the mutagen, yes general, including the super soldier mutagen, and I will de uh, deliver them all to you personally, just as soon as they are ready. See you to that, and you do, Stockman. I got a war to fight, and I will not set any more delays. Again, my apologies for our uh, tardiness, but when all is said and done, General Crane, I am confident you will find the wait was worthwhile. Very worthwhile indeed. Three months later, you really have taken to those tolls, April. I'm expecting you to steal them, uh, steal them and take them home any day now. Ha! <laughs> I wish I could, Lindsay. They're just so darn precious. Barat, though, not so much. Splinter, he's not so bad once you get to know him. Why? You got? Why do you guys call him Splinter anyway? Oh well, he's part of a uh, a physical drug test we're running. The drug's effects is like splintering or splintering. Animals, nature, and two basically separating now a capacity for human-like uh, congestions from an international animal stake. In theory, at least. Cryostatic drug test. What the heck does and that have to do with bioengineering uh, meat? Lindsay. Oh, uh, I just remember I'm supposed to be in a technical update meeting right now. I, uh, I'll see you guys later. Well, that wasn't too weird. Uh, yeah, um, you know how those techie types can be. Uh, Chet, we're techie types. Uh, yeah. So, um, April, you should give these guys names, too. You're around them so much. Actually, you already have. Really? What are they? Okay, let's see. The little guy standing all still and quiet is Leonardo. The one stunning that bug is Donatello. And the one uh, gorging him himself on that uh, lettuce is Michelangelo. Uh, I have history of, of Renaissance artists uh, one one this semester. Um, okay, so what what about that guy? That's Raphael. Present day. Come on, come on. Bingo. Dinner is served. Damn, this ain't gonna cut it. Okay, what's next? Oh, now that's just a uh, wrong. What the? No, please. Uh, don't. Shut up. Get up. I say, get up. Come on, just stop. You, you're, you're freaking wasted again. Just go to bed and leave me alone. Get up, you piece of garbage. Let me go, Dad. Dad? No damn good, Casey. You was never no damn good. How have you ever born? Hoover. You know why I hate Jack, uh, jerk face? Stinking bullies. Let me show you how much. Present day. Put the kid down. Now. I don't know who the hell you are, but you don't come into my house knocking down doors and giving orders. Dude, it's cool. I don't need uh, no help. I've got this. It's just dry. Ugh. You keep your damn mouth shut, mutt. Alright, that's it. Bring it. You need a little taste of your own stinking medicine. Tastes good. My turn. How's my need taste, huh? Oh, girl from these streets, punk. Fine as part of living. Let me show you. What the shell? Tag. I'm it. Not so tough now, are you, big man? Ugh. Ain't it fun when someone fights back, is it? Is it? Ain't done yet? Good. 
Cause I can go all night. Screw you. Screw you, man. Freaking no good son of a. Screw you, both of yous. Let him go. He does this crap all the time. Of course, this is the first time a total stranger busted in now nowhere to kick his butt while he was doing it. Especially one that looks like you. Yeah, uh, sorry about your door. It's just, you know, I heard your dad hitting you and don't swear. Like I said, it ain't like it's the first door ever busted up in this house. Yeah, alright. What about you? You okay? Don't know, man. You tell me. I'm just wondering. Where the heck did you come from? 15 months earlier. You know, they gave me a heart attack again. You score report during the morning, and you run the streaming the slow internet at my dorm. Sure, it ain't helping the halls. Hey, what you got there? Ooh, rat slubber. And this night's just gets better and better. Where the heck uh, did that darn rat get this? What in the world? Huh. Jeez, April. Rats, mystery disc, and now you're seeing things. What's next? Um, are you guys in night security? Eliminate her. I will retrieve her specimens. Eliminate me? For studying? Is this some kind of joke? Chet, Lindsay, is that you two? Um, guys? Oh, no! Stay back! No, don't. This way. The alarm's coming from this way. Finish her and go quickly. The master does not want us identified. I'll take uh, what I can. No! Yeah! Help me! In here! Urgh. Vanish! Who the hell's that? Yelling! No one else here. He almost killed me! Splinter? Oh, g g God. Yeah! Vile rodent! Urgh. Do you really think we'll be able to get him back, my Splinter? Present day. I mean, do you really believe it's possible we'll find Raphael? If I did not believe it was possible, Leonardo, our search for your brother would have end already concluded. You must believe it as well. I... I guess I do, Master. I don't know, thoughts against, uh, against locating a, mis a missing individual in a metropolis um, the size of New York are about astronomical, if you ask me. Be that as it may, Donto. There are far greater powers at work in this world than, than mere statistical analytics. And they are often too easily ignored and underestimated. Well, I wish those powers would hurry up and help us. I'd rather duke it out with old Hob and his goons any day of the week than waste the time looking through Harry Reek Alley and Pigeon Poo rooftop for Raphael. So then, Michelangelo, you claim the search for your lost brother to be poor use of your time? No, Master, it's not, it's not that. I mean, I really do want to find Raphael. We all do. It's just, well, it's just that we've been looking for everywhere, and we've been looking everywhere for him for like a year now. Maybe got a zilt to show for it. Maybe Donnie's right. Maybe it's, it's impossible. Maybe, maybe looking heads with geeks like old Hob is what we should be doing instead of something in that matters, you know? I understand your frustration, my son, as well as your restlessness. I too am disappointed each time we fail to locate your brother, but I do not believe we have looked everywhere, as you say. And for this reason, and many others, we must continue our search. Our battle against old Hobbs gang tonight was an, um, um, as are all battles, we are fight. An unfortunate necessity. Any value to, um, derived from its hollow at best. Our war has only just begun, and Hobbs is only the first of many enemies I fear we will all be forced to confront. The only victory we must actively pursue is the return of Raphael to our clan, to our family. Only then can we allow ourselves in moments of triumph, for only our circle will at last be complete, and we all will be truly ready to face the hardship that lies ahead. Until then, however, we must continue to search for our brother, for, for without him. We too are lost. So you're homeless, and you can't remember your name, huh? Man, that must suck. Not, uh, not that it's much better here. Yeah, it's tough, I guess, but it's always been that way for me, far as I remember, so I'm kind of used to it. Well, I'm Casey Jones. Nice to meet you. Um, yeah, the same. Don't leave me hanging, bro. Right, yeah. Hey, can I ask you something, Casey? Yeah, shoot. What the hell was all this all about tonight? The thing with your dad and, and you, I mean. Ah, uh, same old, same old. My dad's a professional drunk. Another fun kind, you know. He's a great... He gets mean uh, when he's been drinking. So he's pretty much mean all the time. Da all the damn time. Been that way ever since my mum died. 
That sucks. Oh, that sucks. I probably made it worse by beating up, huh? No, man. Ain't no biggie. He probably went to get more booze, and when he's and um, when he tore out out of here, that lush won't even remember any of this tomorrow. And uh, thanks for jumping in like that, man. Sometimes he gets pretty rough, and I think tonight was going to be one of those times. It's cool. No worries. I'm just surprised at all. Surprised about what? You, me? Yeah, you, um, you. Why aren't you scared of me? You know, of the way I uh, look. Everyone usually is. Heh, <laughs> yeah, you ain't exactly Brad Pitt, um, are you? But, dude, you, um, you met my old man. Next to him, you're freaking teddy bear. Thanks, I guess. Don't mention it. You hungry, bro? Because I'm starving. Yeah, as long as it ain't garbage. I'm sick of eating garbage. So, dude, fridge is empty. Tell you what, let me get some stuff from my room. We can go out and uh, snack some grub. And maybe we can have ourselves some some fun of the way. Ugh. You get out, chump, and I promise you I'll knock you right back on your ass. And if I go smack you again, there ain't gonna be no more getting up. Okay, okay, it's cool. Let me call out Jack and old lady's purses, Jack Ward. Grab a purse, bro. Huh? And the purse, man. Get it and let's boogie. Uh, yeah, okay. B -b Please, man. Please don't hurt me. Whatever. What now? Now we make like good guys and give it back. This is the best part of the... This is the best part of the job, dude. She's gonna love us. Oh, my God. Um, ma'am, ma we, uh, got your purse back for you and... Help! Yeah, she loved us, all right. Probably could have thought that one out a little bit, huh? Just a little. Ah, well, ain't the first time that happens. There's a police station not too far from here. We can just drop it off in there and then go get us and get us some food. I smelled that guy pretty good, huh? Dude had a hard head and that's for sure. Yeah, he did, Casey. Well, I'm wondering, if it was so easy being up that guy, why didn't you fight back against your dad earlier? Drunk as him, drunk as he was, I bet he could have took him. Yeah, uh, that. My mom died like a year and a half ago from cancer. She was really sick for a long time before she went, and, that, and that's what pushed the old man over the edge. Dude couldn't handle it, so I pretty much took care of her while he drank himself stew. Thing is, my mom still loved him. Don't ask me why, but, but, um, but she did. And just before she died, she made me promise to take care of him when she was gone, and not to fight with him. I've been keeping my promise, at least for not fighting with him part. I figured um, there ain't no taking care of that bo uh, booze head anymore, so I just avoided him as much as I can. Man, that's tough. Well, what about you? You don't, don't even know. Uh, don't even know your own name. Now that sucks. You think you got knocked in the head, maybe amnesia or something? Maybe I don't know. I remember waking up in an alley one day, but before that, nothing. Harsh. Yeah, I guess. So what's up with the hockey mask? Oh, this. I was a big time jock in high school and got a scholarship at New York Tech for hockey. I got a mean slap shot and wicked right hook, so it gave me a full ride. I ain't much of a book guy though, so I'm gonna so I'm on the academic probation until I get my grades up. Sucks, cause if I don't, cause if I don't, I lose the scholarship and the money I get every month of anything that's paying for rent and food. But just in, but just cause I ain't paying no more, doesn't mean I ain't still in the game. Come on, let's get and get rid of um that purse, and I'll, and I'll show you and why I don't why I go uh, school why I got the school record for plenty of minutes. Unless you want to keep it. That purse does look good on you, cute on you, uh, man. Uh, and not as good as, uh, as it looks on you. Heh, come on. you got to tell Hob about this. hey -ya! Uh, ha -ya! Uh, Again. Show me again, Dontolo. And this time, do not lose focus of what is truly important. Incaparating Leonardo is worthless. If my country is able to do the same to you, you must strike and forget the past is gone, but all the masters is your next move. To celebrate victory, Currently, is in, to invite early defeat. Yes, Sensei. I'm sorry. Apologies are unnecessary, my son. I only ask that you learn from your mistake and strive to rectify that which is wrong. The training is everything. If we under underestimate the importance of training, then we underestimate the formidable of our enemies. Uh, master, speaking of enemies, what exactly is old Hobbs deal? I mean, why is he so hot to get us? Get us? And what do you ever do to him? Yes, old Hobbs. You need not concern yourself with such things, Michelangelo. As I said, you must focus on what is and what is and not was. It is simply enough for you to understand. But old Hob has his reasons. Fifteen months earlier. Wow.
Grab the bag. The rat kill it. Damn. What? Good. I I can speak. My my body was happened. Hap and who? My turtles? Turtles. Present day. All clear guys. Let's go. Dude, I can't believe we're doing this again. Give it a rest, Mikey. You know Master Winter says finding Raphael is our main priority right now. It's a quick whining. I'm just I'm not whining, Leo, I'm just saying. Well, quit saying then, and get, it's getting old. I don't know, Leo. I'm with Mikey on this one. If everything's old, getting old, he's chasing now old towers every night looking for a brother when we're not even sure it exists. Don't even go there, Johnny. If Master Winter says Raphael's alive, then he's alive. End of story. No, that's not um, that's not the end of it. You can't act like um, the loyal little son all you want, Leo. But I know you're just as tired of doing this night after night as we are. I mean, come on, we never find Raphael. And meanwhile, Old Thomas and his crease keep putting the squeeze on us tighter and tighter. Yeah, Leo, all this new training we're doing, it can't be for nothing, bro. Papa needs a serious ass cooking, and we should be out and, and we should be once giving it to him, just like uh, like other nights. We don't have a choice then, Mikey. Old Hobble was getting too close to find where we lived, threatening innocent people to get at us. We had to. So that's it. We can protect others, but not ourselves. Come on, Leo. Do you realise how imbecilic and that sounds? We were protecting ourselves. Besides, I don't care how it sounds, Santa Leo. It's what Master Mason wants, so that's enough. Is it, Leo? Is it really enough? Look, Mikey and I love and respect Father as much as you do. It's just... It's just that we think the whole Raphael thing, maybe it's just... Guilty obsession he has, you know? Like, he couldn't save all of us, and all four of us, and he, he just doesn't want to accept it. Maybe it's time we all accept that Raphael wasn't probably killed. Don't even say that. Why? Because you don't want it to be... You don't want to hear it, or, or because you don't have the guts to say it yourself. I'll show you guts, you little... Whoa, whoa, this ain't um, the way to do this, bros. Back off, both of you. Mikey's right, Leo. I'm sorry. But uh, what's that still stands? Every time we don't com uh, find Raphael, we accomplish nothing. Maybe it's time that we change it. Maybe it's time we finally get a little bit more proactive on our patrols. Besides, it doesn't mean we won't be looking for Raphael. We'll just be enhancing our searches a bit, changing up things. I guess. I guess it wouldn't hurt, but. As a spirit, bro, let's go kick some ass and take names and find Raphael. Win win. And it's, and it's, like, it's not like Muslim Sir hasn't taught us to adjust to our strategy, right? You know what he always says, Leo. Change is the only, is the only constant. There you go. Thanks. You're gonna love these, bro. Made from the sticky, uh, stickiest uh, mystery meat in all of NYC. It works for me. Did um, they lose the cops? Huh? Ugh. Just shut up and keep running. You know, there's only one thing better than, than hot dogs. I must keep invest knocking the crowd out with two bit crooks. Come on. Hurry. No way, punks. You ain't getting away that easy. Yeah. What he said. I think um, you fool, you fool, um, oh. You fool owe me and my buddy here some dinner. Dinner's the least of your worries. Huh? Oh, crud. Well, it ain't the little lost turtle. Remember me? Present day. What's wrong, little turtle? Come on, me and you was crazy enough, but a giant walking talking cat? Come on. Don't tell me you went and forgot about your old, um, bow, um, your, um, your old pal, old hob. Did ya? You know this widow? He. No. No? No? Well, I'm offended as hell. I tell you, you could have a nurse to, to forget me after all we shared together. You losing that, that family of yours. Me losing this damn eye. Sorry. That just ain't gonna cut it. You're gonna remember me, even if my, me and my boys go beat the memory into you. Or out of you. I ain't picky. Boys, no guns. I want to make sure this forgetful reptile and, and bat boy remember it in every lot of bill of the last ass cooking they're ever gonna get. Dude, this ain't good. Rip him to shreds. Ain't good at all. Fifteen months later. This is not good at all, Miss Allen. Not good at all. Yes, Dr. Stoneman. I, I know, sir. Well then, do you also know the extent of the damage also in, of the loss and we suffered? Because if you do, I'd sincerely like you to share that particular bit of information with me at some time tonight.
That is, if you don't mind. Um, yes, Doctor. Um, I mean, no, sir, I don't mind. Well, I'm waiting. Um, okay, well, the terapeutic exoarmor samples are intact for the m- m- most part, but the psychotropic serum was a complete loss, as was Splinter. Splinter. E- yes, Splinter was the um, rat. We were using to te- test the serum. We lost the total specimens, too. I see. Quite the tragedy, that. Remind me to have my secretary allocate funds necessary to replace those poor lost creatures. I'm guessing twenty dollars and a trip to a pet store should suffice. The mutual, Mr. Allen. Never mind this insane talk of missing rodents and reptiles. Tell me what happened to a bloody super soldier in the mission. Yes, sir. Doctor, sorry. We've only been able to salvage some small amounts of the mission from the alley so far. But with the extended exposure of to oxygen and with all the differences formulated being mixed together, it's most likely tainted beyond um, repair. Damn it all. Losing the psychotropic serum is bad enough news, because then we'll have to start from scratch in this development. By the mission, the basic components and that were supplied to us by General Crane, and that general proposal risk is our client, is to be believed. Now I'm forced to inform him we require even more? Do you realise how infuriated the general will be when, you, when he learns of this disaster, especially if it's true that ninja soldiers were behind the break-in? What if it turns out his competitor has gotten his hands on missing samples? This could ruin me. I understand, Doctor, but um, there may be a way to get the cytotoric compound back without having to start over. How? Well, if uh, we're able to um, replicate uh, the test rat, we should be able to extract workable samples from its uh, blood. Ha! Really, Mr. Allen? And pray tell me, in a massive city infested with millions upon millions of rats, you propose to find this splinter of yours. I can help with that. I just want to know one thing. Does a filthy rat and rat gobby be alive when I bring him to you? I'm telling you guys, I'm lucky to be alive. But I need your worries. Come on, Mr. Null. That's a pretty big pill to swallow. Are you sure it wasn't normal burglars all dressed in black and you just got so scared they looked like ninjas? Do you? Yeah, there's a lot of what I'm calling going on these days. Cooperative espionage. Yeah, there could have been some other company trying to steal some science secrets or something. That's just it. They were stealing stuff and they were carrying like swords and knives too and had masks on just like, like, like the ninjas you see in movies. God, it even sounds crazy to me. And you say one of them tried to kill you with his sword. How do you get away? I don't know, just luck I guess. He barely missed me and then the fire alarm went off and I was able to hit him in the face with a glass beaker of run. And who set the fire alarm off? It, it, it was Splinter. I'm pretty sure it was Splinter. Splinter, who's that? Not who. What? Splinter is a lab rat. Quickly, my sons. We must not stop until we and we have put a safe distance between the laboratory and ourselves. Safe. Yes, my sons. Safe. Fate and destiny have provided for our reunion, and we will not forget that gift by allowing ourselves to be easily captured. We will vanish into the shadows as we always been our ways. Our way? I understand there is much you do not recall all of you. In time you remember, but for now only ask your trust and obedience as we escape to our new life together. And with a new life, we will take new names, ones now familiar to us all, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, and I am Spencer, as if all your sensei and father. There is much we must do, my sons. We have little time, and there are many things I must teach you, many things for you to learn once again. We will find a new home, then we will find your brother. Raphael, present day. Urgh! Bro, this is nuts. Who are these punks? Urgh! Them, I don't know. The cat, though, he's a bad memory I don't, oh, I don't know. I had. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means I got a serious score. So, That's it, boy. Soften that green freak up for me. Get off him, punk. I'm okay, Casey. Good enough to take out a couple more. Gah! Nice and tender. You're going to regret that, man. Watch out, bro. Behind you. Casey! Down, boy. Son of a... I said down. <clears throat> Hold on to him, boys. Time for old Hob to take care of business. You know, I did say no guns earlier, but something about seeing you again changed my mind. No offence. Go to hell. We're already there. See, the thing is, you go away before free. It ain't happening again. <clears throat> you're, the only one, you're the only thing that's not happening tonight, Hob. You're done. Bonsai, bro. Off of me. Who? Do you think it's him? Raphael, 
It's got to be Donny. I told you, Leo, this is going to be a win win. No. No. Ugh. Dude, look. Um, Hobbs punking out with Raphael. Hobbs going to kill him. No, wait. No way Hobbs are taking out our brother that easily. Don't fool yourself, freak. You think these other puke green idiots give a damn about you? Ha! Remember that grimy rat left you to die once before? I'll do it again. You'll see. You ain't nothing but a lab of experiments that go away. Hell, you ain't even worth the needles they look in the uh, use to stick their suck blood out of you, all of you freaks, including that damn rat. As soon as I drag your cr uh, cr uh, crocuses back to Stockman, those eggheads got a big plan for you. Yeah, but, but none of that needs needed you alive. You're better off dead. See? Dead and gone. Shut up! I'll kill you! Ugh, ugh, ugh. Ugh. No more! I want you dead! Do you hear me? No, Raphael. Not like that. Not like that. He's beaten. Let it go. But Leo, I was just going to do this again. We... No, Donny. We already displayed father enough tonight. But I said no. We got bolts anyways. The cops are coming. Who? Whoa, take it easy. Uh, it's okay, bro. B bro? Yeah, Raph. Brothers. Oh, man. That dude must have hit me harder than I thought. I'm seeing like fours of you right now. Eventually, the tempest uh, subsides. Sensei, we're back and we brought some with us. And what began with a furious roar, Raphael, ends in uncertain silence. Welcome home. It is simply the calm before the next storm. Now, my sons, the circle is complete. At last, we can truly begin.